born in Shropshire. When I was 14 I won the best garden in Muchwenlock. I was put to do the garden when I was 10 so it developed from then and it's come a love affair. Even if I go to Shrewsbury I want to be back with it on the next birth. My garden pulls me back in Muchwenlock. I've been doing my garden at this house from 1976 and the vegetable garden is most important to me because it sustains me and that's how I was brought up. We work the land. Why the plants grow so well is because we're on limestone ground. The soil has been worked for hundreds of years. The root fibres can run in it freely of all types of plants from parsnips to carrots, to onions, and especially the delphiniums are very enjoyable. They're like a Shropshire blue sky. I've been growing them since I was 16, so I've carried the seed on now 50 years. The old pink, red, China Rose is out in full bloom now and people in much more like one cuttings off me and it's blooming all around the town now. The blueness of the cat mint as it trails down over the limestone walls with hundreds of bumblebees, white-tailed bumblebees. With the white valeria and the pink valeria, the combination is an oil painting. One of the most beautiful spots is Wenlock Edge, where the wild thyme grows. And there's a ring of it grows in my garden, what has been growing there for 30 years. I've created some sculptures inspired by Mary Webb's books. I've always enjoyed re reading Mary Webb's books since I was 35 when I was taught to read and write. You could call Mary Webb a Shropshire lass because she had a love affair with Shropshire all her life. When I was working in Much Winlock Priory, the orange blossom, the old stump, was fading. So I took some cuttings off it and brought them home and they're in my garden today. I'm carrying the seed on. A day in the garden to me is the scents and the smells of the earth and scent of the flowers. The land puts the glow into us.